In this video, I'll cover smart folders and how to create them and use them within the system. From the sales menu on either estimates, work orders, invoices, or payments, you will be able to define a group and save that group as a smart folder. For instance, I can review the entire month of January for completed work and we'll do specific to bed bug inspections. After I define my filters and I click save, I then save the folder and once that is saved it's then available here. So I've already created um, hold status, incomplete work orders, uh, completed for 2016, and or you can access work orders completed today, this week, this month, and again if I go back to the January 2017 bed bug jobs, these are specific to that folder. From the sales invoice page, I've done the same for a few different reviews. Here I have printed invoices, unpaid and printed invoices overdue. So I'll go ahead and click on that. You can see these are the overdue. I have already marked the status um, or select all and then bulk print. So when I'm saving these I can then return back to see which ones were in fact included in that section. From the customers page, I have the ability to create smart folders for services or based on tags or types of customers. So from this point, if I go to the commercial and type in a city, isolate all accounts. I can then save this list with the type and where it's at. Once I save that will be available in this list. So again if I go to the commercial accounts it's then available or if I go back to all active it's going to, when I take out my filter here, all active will show me everything and in my section here, sorry, go to the folder, it has just what I've put, selected for that smart folder. So in order to enable smart folders, click on the settings, company information, and enable smart folders.